welcome to another episode of Tech Tips TV. So today's topic is going to be about why the Intel stock cooler is your worst enemy, or any stock cooler for that matter. It is just the most horrendous thing probably to ever exist, and just does not do what it's supposed to do. About a week ago, I got a new cooler finally for uh, for my desktop. I've been running the stock cooler since I got my uh, my 4770K which is a Haswell processor, and if you look online anywhere about the, the Haswell line of processors from Intel, they have been known to run very hot. Um, just because they weren't really designed, I guess, thermally, thermally very well. Um, but So I finally decided to, to do an upgrade on my cooler. Uh, so the cooler that I went with, here's the box right here. I went with a Hyper 212 Evo. It's from Cooler Master. Um, it comes with a fan. I actually, I had two extra SP120s from Corsair laying around. Um, actually not laying around, that I'm going to put into this build. And they were going, they will go on the radiator once I get it. Um, but for now, they're on the Hyper 212 Evo. Uh, this cooler goes for around 30 bucks um, on Newegg. You can get it actually cheaper in other places. I just decided to go with Newegg because that's what I decided to go with. So basically, just when even rendering videos off and everything, I would see temps reaching up into the 80s, 90s, and that's just not good. Because, yes, the processor can handle it, but in the long run, it's going to actually deteriorate the life of the processor. And that's why I ended up going with a stock cooler, for the, mo for the time being at least. Next, I'm just going to show quick um, how I installed it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind don't try and install the cooler while the desktop is standing up. That was probably the dumbest thing I tried, and I don't know why I tried it, because it just kept falling, and that's not good. I ended up just having to take it off, because I couldn't get it on. So I had to take it off, and then I had to clean the CPU again from the old thermal paste, or the thermal paste that I had just put on. And then I, and I also had to clean the cooler. So that was just a pain. So lay it down. last week's video and I'm going to render it out and I will show you I will show you the temps using uh, I use hardware monitor uh, hardware monitor or maybe I don't have it installed I thought I did oh, there it is um, to show you the temps but so right now we're going to go in and we're going to render this out and we'll see how exactly it performs under load. Alright, so here we're at about 45% and I'm not going to let it go all the way because at this point it's it's about um, it's leveled out and I'm not seeing any more spikes on the temperature but I'm going to show you, I'm going to go in a little bit here and so that's at 50% now, so I'll, uh, I'll stop this, let's cancel that. And so over here, 
you can see uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so the hottest core was at 59 degrees Celsius. Um, so that's probably the hottest test that I've seen so far out of this. However, that's pretty good for a $30 cooler. So as you can tell, it's definitely worth getting an aftermarket cooler because you're going to get that better performance out of it and keep your processor nice and happy, uh, basically. My fans aren't running at, at high RPMs. They're actually running at very low RPMs. Right now, my CPU fans are running at about 740 RPMs, which I'd say is really great considering the stock fan was running at like 1500 RPMs at idle. And so mine are running at idle right now at 700 RPMs, which is really good. And I could, you know, I could control my fan curves and, and push those up a little bit, and I'd probably see maybe another 2, 3 degrees Celsius drop under idle, and under performance I would probably see lower 50s. So again, so I'm new at this, so I'm trying. Um, I still hope you guys are learning something from it. Uh, and over the next few weeks, I'm going to be getting all of this, uh, all of my Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff up and running. And as also, I'm going to be doing, you know, designing openers and I'm working on the logo. I think I have a good one that I like right now. And you'll see, you saw this at the beginning of the video, and you'll see it again in a moment. Um, and I, I believe I like this, and I think I'm going to stick with it. Uh, but if you have any comments on it, you know, leave a comment down below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.